Hi, today I wanted to talk to you about using a virtual assistant or a VA. So I've been recommending that you use a virtual assistant for things that you can't do or things that you don't do well. So someone asked me the other day, well, what kinds of things can a virtual assistant do? So good question. I just got off the phone with my virtual assistant and some of the things that she's doing for me is she's posting blogs for my counseling website. She's also posting videos that I have created um, for both counseling and for therapist practice in a box. She is also following up with my staff for timesheets and um, license numbers and ex expiration dates of things uh, like malpractice and insurance. So she uses a spreadsheet and she keeps track of those things and then sends an email to the appropriate person. The other thing that she does is she helps me create a um, ongoing email list. So when we have clients that come in, they can check a box on the information form that says, yes, I want to get information from Central Counseling Services. And so then we put them on um, an email list and then we send them out an email when we're sending out the rest of the emails. Again, it's sort of a marketing tool and it works pretty well and our clients really enjoy some of the articles that we send to them. We don't send more than one a month, but we do send um, monthly uh, emails to them. And they really enjoy it because they get an opportunity to have a little bit more information in depth. They get to hear from different therapists in our practice about different things. And then they can bring in those articles and actually have a conversation with their particular therapist about learning something. So for example, I wrote an article uh, a few weeks ago about breathing. Another one of my therapists wrote an article a couple months ago about suicide prevention and what signs to look for. Both of those articles brought clients in to our clinic talking to their therapist about those particular issues. And so we were able to go into depth a little bit more in the counseling center. So you'll never know sometimes where things are going to reach people that want to have more information from you. So another thing that my VA does is she makes sure that my social media is updated and that the information that goes onto the social media goes out on a regular basis. Now I know you know I've been talking about having things sent out consistently and turning things over one at a time. So what she does for me is she makes sure that things are going out on a consistent basis and things go out regularly. And when I get low on the queue, she gives me an email and says, hey, I need some more content to put out there for you. So there's a lot of other things that, that VAs can do. They can answer the phones, they can do billing, and there's different types of VAs. So if there's things like bookkeeping, my bookkeeper is a virtual assistant in the sense that she does bookkeeping via um, the internet. And so I don't ever see her, I just send her documentations. But she's not the same as my VA who makes sure that I, my practice stays organized. But there's different types of VAs and for different purposes. So for one, I'm not a very good bookkeeper and I'm not a very good accountant. So those are things that I don't do. I send the information, I give them the information via the bank statements, but I don't keep track of it. That's just not my thing. I would rather do an hour of therapy. So think about in your practice and uh, what you can do or have somebody do for you that would free you up to do maybe some more marketing. Um, the idea is that we do, do we need to do things that we do well and someone else needs to do something that we don't do well. So accounting, maybe answering the phones, um, maybe filing documents or doing billing. I don't know, but think about in your practice what kinds of things might be helpful for someone else to be doing for you. All right, take care.